So here what we're going to do today for a little social tip is show you how you can take advantage of a website called IFTTT, otherwise known as If This Then That. Basically it's a simple little website that uses things called recipes to set one action or called a trigger that will then do something for you and add a blog post, add a Facebook post, add something to your email. It'll do various actions for you, kind of automating your life a little bit. In today's example, what we're going to give you is a real simple activity, especially for uh, real estate, where you can take advantage of Craigslist as well as um, your Facebook business page. So what we're going to do is create a little recipe that finds a specific search inside of Craigslist that will then, once that activates or triggers, it will then send that automatically to your Facebook business page, community page, what have you. A real simple tool kind of a little bit automates a little bit of your life for you in that regard. So what we have here is you got up top, you've already logged in. If you have not, don't have an account, create an account. I already have my account created. So what we're going to do here is just come up here and hit create, or we can come down here and hit create recipe, but I'm just going to come up here and say create. And what you will see is you have an if this, then that, and the this is highlighted. So we're going to click on the this. Here's what you have is channels. Channels are basically a lot of different websites that will have activities that will trigger an action. The one that we want to pick is Craigslist. Again, most likely I've already done this, but you'll have to activate your Craigslist to activate button, run, to, run you through a couple steps, and you'll be done. These are called triggers inside of Craigslist. This one specifically says new post from search. It's exactly what we want to do. I want to search for an item for a specific rule. And with that rule, we will, we will have our action. So the search results. So what I am going to do is just come in here. I'm going to go for real estate for sale inside of Craigslist. I've already had that going. At this point in time, I want to make sure I pick by owner because I just want to look for Fizbo's inside that area. And I want to be a little more specific. I want to pick DeKalb. You put a community, neighborhood, subdivision, what have you inside that area. Once you have that, you will see that I have eight results inside here. And once that pops up, all I have to do is come up here to the URL bar up top here and hit a control C for copy or a right mouse button. Copy will do the same thing. I'm going to then go back to my if TTT recipe tab and I'm just going to do a control V and paste it. Again, you can do a right mouse button paste as well. Once I get that done, I'll hit create trigger. Now you will see that my trigger has been created. I, if I Craigslist search URL, then what am I going to do? What I want to do here in this situation is I want to go to my Facebook pages. You again, you will see these options that exist down here. One actually says Facebook pages. I'm going to click on this. If you have multiple pages, you'll have to pick which one here in a second. Um, create a status message, create a link post, or upload photo from URL. I'm going to create a link post. Um, the first two, either one will work. One's just going to be a plain text. One will have a little more activity going on with it. Here you'll see post URL. These are some merge codes so to speak which you have various ones search title url post url is fine for that link url is what we really want to have and then you got a message searching for blank on craigslist um you know you can do various items here i just usually say you know something along the latest of If you want more information, please contact me. Again, you have other ones you can put in here. You play around. I would definitely encourage playing with You can put a post date, things like that. I don't mind putting a post date in here. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. That's more for my benefit when I'm looking at this stuff, knowing the last time that it was done. Once you say that, you say create action. And here you have it. Now, 
I already did this activity once, so it popped up saying creating least on DeKalb area living. If I wanted to, I could pick that and pick the options of the ones I have. Normally, when you start this, you will have the options of all your different business pages that exist in your account. If you want, you can put little information on what this is supposed to do so you know what it's looking for. You can also publish it in the future if other people want to use it. So there I go, Craigslist search posting for, to my community page. I can add tags if I want to, use the hashtag the tags. And that's basically it. You have it out here now. Now this, it'll search, but when, the only time that it will find anything is when the, another person adds a FISBO in the DeKalb area. So, you know, it may be consistent, it may not. You might want to broaden it up a little bit. Those are things you want to look at and play with. I would definitely encourage getting in there and testing out and doing whatever you need to do to make it happen. Um, that's all she wrote, and uh, have fun doing it.